Although body is made up of large number of material, there is lot many thing inside us, but broadly we can look upon at our body as consisting of two parts. One is we can call it flesh, the other we can call it bones. Now when x-rays travel through our body, there is a differential absorption of x-rays by bones and flesh. As a result of which, the negative which is kept below the body part is exposed to x-rays by different amount and this record which records basically the intensity variation is helpful in examining about the internal structure of our organ. That is how we have been using this medical x-rays for examination and just to have an idea what has happened inside, particularly in case of damage and other examinations. Now whereas the harder x-rays, harder x-rays are extensively used in industry. Now these harder x-rays, they have a more penetrating power. So we can use these harder x-rays to find the soundness of a material. Let's say we have a material and from outside it may not be possible for us to know whether this material is internally sound or not. Now internally sound we mean is there any crack or not, is there any fault inside or not because that will be dangerous in service condition. Now we cannot damage our component also to know that whether there is a crack or whether there is a defect or not. So we use x-rays and it becomes a non-destructive sort of testing. That means material subjected to examination is not destroyed. That's why it is very useful as a non-destructive testing method to know the soundness of material. Now here also if there is any void or if there is any foreign material inside the material then there will be a differential absorption. And we put a photographic plate below the material which is exposed to x-rays then as these x-rays travel through the material there is a differential absorption. Now this photographic plate is exposed to x-rays in varying amount that means it simply records the intensity variation and from the intensity variation which is recorded on photographic plate we make judgment about the soundness of material that is how x-rays are extensively used in industry for examination as a non-destructive testing. Whereas we have already mentioned the softer x-rays are used for examination of our body by doctors. Now there is one more extensive application of harder x-rays and it is in metal crystallography. Now metal crystallography is a field which deals with crystal structure determination and these hard x-rays are extensively used in metal crystallography. Now the use of hard x-rays in metal crystallography is simply based on the fact that the order of wavelength of x-rays is comparable to lattice spacing that is the atomic spacing in most of the material where we are interested to find crystal structure and then we subject these materials to the exposure of x-rays and then these x-rays undergo diffraction and we record the diffraction pattern and from diffraction pattern we interpret the crystal structure that is the basic point. Now let's summarize what we have just discussed now. We said there are two types of x-rays. The one category is referred as soft x-rays and the other category is referred as hard x-rays. Now this classification is based on penetrating power. Harder x-rays they have more penetrating power whereas softer x-rays they have lesser penetrating power. The wavelength range of softer x-rays is from 10 angstrom to 100 angstrom whereas the wavelength range for harder x-rays is 0.1 angstrom to 10 angstrom. Harder x-rays are used in industry to check the soundness, internal soundness of material as a non-destructive testing 
and also it finds extensive application in metal crystallography that is for crystal structure determination. Whereas softer x-rays are extensively used in medical field again to check the internal soundness of any organ or just to find whether there is any damage or fracture or not which is a very common experience in our day to day life. Now this application is based on differential absorption property of material. Different material absorb x-rays in different amount and then we have a photographic plate. Now x-rays affect photographic plate as ordinary light affects photographic plate. The only difference is x-rays affect photographic plate more strongly than ordinary light. So we make use of this property and intensity variation is recorded on the photographic plate and from intensity variation we determine whether the organ is sound or not, is there any defect or is there any fracture. Similarly in case of material or any metallic component or non-metallic component, we try to find is there any discontinuity or is there any void or is there any fault which will be dangerous in service condition. The extensive application of hard x-rays in metal crystallography is based on the fact that the wavelength of x-rays is comparable to wavelength of atomic spacings. And when materials are exposed to x-rays and these x-rays undergo diffraction and from diffraction pattern we 